What's up guys? Welcome to another film review of Sarah Eckhart Stewart. We are here united for you to present you one of the film review of the movie that I picked for you today, which is Dare Me. Yes, I know as everybody is complaining because this is not exactly what I presented on the silver plate every day. It's not part of the typology of bread that I try to chew every time by watching the movie. But what really strikes me about these films is that it starts in a very ponytail situation, like a sort of teenage era epoch, and then is finished completely in blood. I hope that you didn't listen exactly the words that I mentioned today and I hope that I didn't spoil it too much, but it's something just to invite you to watch the entire series. First of all, Netflix delivered only 10 episodes from one of the main directors of the cast, was a Step Green. Then we have Jamie Travis, which is, was another participant, Madison Traverson, where a lot of directors that cooperate in order to make this film possible, but it's quite complicated to list every kind of castings that a protagonist that are present in this film. And I'm not saying that I don't like Netflix mainstreaming, but I'm trying to say that sometimes it's a little bit tricky to follow, is the fact that it's quite impossible to refer to a specific director anymore because they lost importance and you cannot focus much on the photography. This kind of film is really well structured from the point of the director of photography because it makes you reflect upon the teenage corruption, about powers, about obsession theme that really makes me uh, want to go on with the film. The shitty script, I don't want that you try to alight the fact that the script is cunning because the, the only cunning thing that is present in this film is the time and the respect of tension and sexual tension that there is between, between the characters. What I want to tell you is that it starts in a rainy, foggy day and our focus is on the cheerleaders, team members of the classical American stereotype college where unfortunately we can always see a team of military service running around the corridor just in search of very beautiful ladies. Yes. This is our typical, um, we can say, sticking to the status quo of the American society that never grow up, in a way. And that's what I dislike completely of the movie, such a cliché in the terms that there are always like brightening kind of sister people that are acting together as like they are going to kill some bunch of zombies around. Um, the typical authoritarian lady which breaks into everyone's hearts, which is played by William Fitzgerald. William Fitzgerald is in this case the coach of the team cheerleader and it's also one of the main focus of the entire plot. And then we have a very promising actress. I don't want to find William Fitzgerald as we also saw her in other beautiful Netflix series such as Blue Bloods. But the fact about the actress is that enough, she never had a hooked into me. Uh, the way she play and the way she is trying to interpret the character is always very personal. I don't think she's very able to interact into various different kind of scenario. Maybe is my impression and I don't want to make of everything a universal opinion. It's just my personal own conception. I prefer the new young talenting emerging Arizona Guardiola. Harrison is an incredible prom promising actress. We always see her in a very underrated uh, episode on Netflix, uh, To Get Down, that it was released basically in the recent period. But I never thought that this kind of American actress was so promising, and she is playing the part very well. Uh, any kind of intimacy, any kind of little thought and psychological issues that the character has is very well uh, assumed into her and very expressed. And I don't want to tell that this is only because she's also the protagonist of the film and she's our kind of uh, everything that we saw is basically recording from her point of view. But that's not what I can tell what drives me crazy about the film. is not the fact that I was personally uh, try to get into the empathy of these characters, but because uh, she makes the audience love her in her lack, in her fault, in her little negativeness, and also in her kind of incoherence, we can say. Yes, because 
at the first very intro of the scenes, uh, I thought that the incoherence of the character was so much evidence also for the decision she was making of hanging out uh, rather with uh, some characters of the film review rather than others that make me think that she is free but at the same time so she's very sticking to himself. She's trying to be a cheerleader to pursue her dreams but at the same time she's not fitting in the team because uh, she's a very reflexive person, more mature than the others in the team. And then we found a kind of right-handed characters, which, which is played by Marlo Kelly, and uh, is uh, portraying, who is portraying Beth. Uh, Beth, what I can say about Marlo Kelly, um, is she had never previously experiences like she had, but not very relevant, like the one appearance that she's doing in Netflix. And I'm a bit scared about how they try to picture the character. She seems like a bad version of our fantastic retro sim perspective of uh, and, and the skin talented Effie. And for this reason, I don't want to compare the two different actresses because one of them has more experience and she's definitely, evidently, not having the same kind of approach when she's working on camera. But that's not terrifically important. What's important is that it makes me really hate the character. Beth is so disgustingly hacked in in this kind of like episode, but at the same time, the Netflix series is it, so uh, like promising in the way she makes you hate Beth. 360 degree, Mario Cullen is playing for, from this point of view a very good job, but not because I like the character and I appreciate her, but, but because I completely hate her and definitely the effect was efficient. Uh, from the other side, we also have our Vampire Diaries Lee entry coming from directly from the Damon side, which is our uh, Zach Rory. Zach Rory is playing the part of one of the military service that is basically uh, surrounding the area of the school and who is becoming very closer one with the main protagonist, but in a sort of triangle relationship that we never knew where is going to hand. And that's where I forced you to see the film. It's not about freezing. I just want to uh, to pr preview the fact that it's not talking about sexual evaluation. It's not talking about sexual orientation, which what makes you think at first. It's just a sort of intersecution of incredible kind of obsession that translates into something effectively um, exaggerate at the point of collapsing to unending tragedy. But I don't want to go farther than that because my words literally go farther in this moment. Anyway, what I want to say is that I am waiting for the next uh, season as well because um, the first season was cut down in a very critical moment and um, actors such as uh, Paul Fitzgerald, which is playing the part of the husband of our coach, and other act promising actresses like Alison Tenderson, or um, uh, I mean the surrounding of the little epitome that we see, even the the mother of uh, Eddie, who is played by Arizon Guardiola, are not very developed in this kind of uh, plot. And I would love to see them more alive because I can see the deepness of the character. I can see they have a great potential, but I cannot effectively tell you where are going to be uh, exactly in the next level, where they are going to develop themselves. So in addiction to all this kind of criticism that I'm doing, what I can say is that there is always this kind of typology of American cliché, as I resume to you, that really makes me vomit. Because it's not Glee, because Glee is fluid, is comical, is musical, is more appreciable because there are kind of interaction and there is a storm of Broadway representation that are proper of that kind of universe and is also explaining the life of real students living into that particular situation. But it's not neither a skin, because skin is kernel, is cruel, and is made of like bloat, more composed things about the English and British lived which can definitely give you an accent and a pronunciation of what is going to up and left because it's a Brighton situation. 
uh, it's more oriented into Brighton, so uh, the characters are always played in a more secluded microcosm where they also develop their own feelings and Effie uh, explanation and the last of the brothers is not nothing connected with this kind of typology of teenage movie. Uh, but it's not even Rotten Tomatoes, because if you think there is a, such a blood to strives completely the open blood or whatever, yes, there are some scenes that are very well structured and the art director and location manager made a great job, but the costume design as well, and maybe special effect makeup artists, but you cannot tell that it is a completely Rotten or script like kind of splattering movie. Because it's more thrilling, it's more in a psychological noir situation. The fact is, right now, it only stays there. And I believe in that it will be more winningful and more, more I think, cunning for the director to suggest a bad hand so that we can see, in the, we can definitely see an epitome and a better. Uh, kind of increasement and possibility for this movie to be appreciated from a more wide range of audience. From an evaluation point of view, I can definitely give to this kind of movie something which is called 4.3. Yes, guys, it's not like the best uh, perspective kind of film that I ever seen, that I ever watched, but you know what? It intrigues you. It intrigues you. And that's that's a very good start, even for actri actors that I think had no such experience. Enjoy my interview, guys, and I really invite you to go on like watching also the other episode of Akar to Sarah Stewart. You're always invited to come into my channel and you're very free okay, to subscribe. Of course, tale? remember that Just I'm going uh, pretty soon to uh, upload also other photography lessons as well as I'm going to Germany and I'm going to work uh, there and even to stick into my book. closest to the American production. So thank you so much for following me and so big viral Not kisses. to compare the buff of the movie, but we are trying hard. There's something dangerous about the boredom of teenage girls. That's the part I hate most. When you will Coach see and you try to make a list of any teenage girls like, like passing mom, during your teacher, school teenage year. That really reminds me of bad she thoughts, like by the way. And understood. Coach saw something in us, something quivering and real. She saw past the glitter, and nice the hair, touch. and the attitude to everything beneath all our miseries. Sorry, w w was that my telephone or was yours? I, I don't understand. Most of all, she could see that we were waiting. Had always been waiting for her. It was oh, fucking I guess beautiful. the movie started from the the top, like in the, like at the very end of the story. Until it went that's too a, far. That's a really cunning decision. So it doesn't seem banal at all. 